Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now, you may have uh, noticed that I've finished quite a few series recently and you were probably wondering what I would do next and this is your answer. We are going to play a game called Calico and it is all about a cat cafe that I, I think has been a bit run down possibly and we need to rebuild it and make it awesome and play with cats and I even saw something where you could ride a cat. I, I don't know when that happens but I'm looking forward to it if it does. <laughs> That's mostly the reason I'm playing this. I saw a, a little gif on, twi on Twitter that was like someone riding a cat and I was like I have to play that game right now. So I wrote to the dev and said can I have a key for your game and they went sure. I th actually I think it was the, uh, the, the publisher. So this is by Peach Keen Games and it's published by White Whitethorn Digital and I think that's who I have to thank for the key. So let's get in and have a little look. Oh my name, my name is Shelab. My name is Shelab and it has a capital S and an H. I'm playing with a controller by the way. They... Oh it would help, it would help if I, if I got rid of name. I mean, you would think that I would just overwrite, but never mind. <laughs> S and H E L E B. I am Dashi Lab. I if we get to name any cats in this, it's definitely going to be a Tilly, but we'll have to see. Oh, it was X for caps, on and off. Oh well, I just used the shift key. That's fine. And then enter. Hmm. Oh, start is finished. Okay, there we are. Use she lab, yes. I can't believe I'm starting my new life tomorrow. Ugh, I have to pick something to wear. An interesting art style, this one. Um, I can cinch my waist in. I really want a little bit more of a slightly more womanly waist than just like completely straight up and down. Yes, I am a little bigger than that, so the, yeah, yeah, that one might be a bit better. Can I, can I turn her around? Oh yes, I can. Oh yes, I do not have such a, f a flat bottom as that. I have a much bigger bottom. <laughs> um, <laughs> I probably have a much bigger chest than that as well. Shoulders. Yes, I probably do have, like, if you've got a big bust, you got to have slightly bigger shoulders to hold them. Right, nose, one, two, three. definitely have a paler skin color than that as well. I do try to make it kind of like me a bit. The noses don't appear to be changing that much. My nose is like way less snubby than that. My nose is big. From the side anyway, but it's not like humped in the middle. It's straight, but it's just a bit bigger and pointier. Like a ferret nose. I'll have to do. It made me skinny again. Okay. Um, okay, so that was good. I can do some face stuff. I do want to change my skin colour though, because... I end up with blue skin. No. Oh gosh, this is difficult to control. Could you not have just given us a few presets? <laughs> I'm gonna end up grey or something. I'm gonna end up like a purple person. Shall I have purple skin? It, that really doesn't look healthy though, does it? <laughs> so probably one of the reds or oranges that's sort of a little bit more toned down. Could probably do the trick. Not quite that pink. A little bit darker than that. That would probably do. Maybe a little paler than I am, but like, kind of difficult to. Also, where's the hair color? Oh, X to choose the hair color, right, okay. So let's see if we can find some nice purple hair. Mm -hmm. It's very customizable though. Sometimes being very customizable though, I mean, like honestly, it makes me want to grab the mouse. It really does. It makes me want to grab the mouse and just like 
do it that way because it's just it, that this honestly feels a bit too um, pernickety persnickety let's have a hairstyle that's kind of like what mine might be like oh no 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 we just got the color right that's maybe a bit more like it and a poofy curly hair with like a big fringe although I think my fringe goes the other way no actually my fringe does go that way because in the, in the mirror it goes the other way so that means it goes that way what about this one uh, what about this one this one mm. I definitely want my sweepy fringe That's kind of cute. Oh, little buns. I'm honestly liking these ponytail ones a lot better. Like for her face shape anyway. I may go back to the face in a minute and just see if there's a, a way I can sort of shape the face a little bit at all or whether, whether we just stuck with one kind of face shape. Eyes, eye shine. <laughs> wow. Get a lot of lipstick colours then. I want to be a bit subtle with my lips though. But like I say, it's just so hard to control it. Like, but this, the customization is amazing. That's quite pretty. Oh no. On. Oh yeah. Accessories. That's so pretty. You can have stars on your face. I like that. You can have a beard too. Eye base. Mouth. No, I quite like the lips I've got, it's just I'm not too keen on my face shape. And it may be that that's not something I can do anything about. Adding some blush might help though. No, it really doesn't actually. I need to colour it a bit more. I'm just gonna go with that, so it's like really, really super subtle. Okay. Eyebrows are fine, eyelashes I think are fine. I don't know, I could have a little look at eyelashes. Oh yeah, we've got the biggest ones, which is what I like. Eyeline. That's in white for some reason. We want that in black. It's starting to look a bit more like how I would like to look. Um, I still don't think the hair colour is quite right. I do like the hair style. I wonder whether that one's quite a nice one. Yeah, I actually like that one too. I like a lot of the ponytail ones. <laughs> That's really cute. Looks like a little doll, doesn't it? I'll never find the same one again. Got little bunches. Actually, that's quite cute. Right, let's just um, change the colour a little bit. I want to go more like a plummy purple. Or even a pink. Not quite that technicoloured. Yeah, I think that's better. I, I, if it's not, if it's going to be a flat colour, it's probably better to be a slightly lighter one. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of starting to like this one. Clothes for the head. There is nothing. Top. We have one top. We have one bottom. Socks, shoes, gloves, accessory and outerwear. Okay, I think I am happy with my, my character as it is. Can be changed later. Oh, that's wonderful. So if I want to spend a bit of time extra on my character, I can. So I take it this is the town of Calico. Or the town of where Calico happens. <laughs> I, it might not be whole Calico. Hello! Looks like there's lots of people to meet. And this art style is adorable. Oh my goodness. Calico! Calico Cafe. So maybe the cafe is called Calico. Oh my gosh! Ah, hello, says Kiva. Why are you in your underwear? <laughs> Welcome to Heart Village. Oh, it's Heart Village. That's a nice name. I'm Kiva, the mayor of this little village. We're so excited to have you here. And we're also sad to have your aunt retire and the cafe just shut down. Honestly, the village just isn't the same without her. But she did send me a postcard last week and it looks like she's really enjoying traveling. Apparently there are cats on other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh, oops, of course. You'd know all about that, having come from another island. Anyway, anywho, all that matters is you are here now. First things first, why don't you look inside your new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. Why don't you go inside and check the place out? Come back and talk to me when you're done. Why can't I have her hair? Her hair looks amazing. <laughs> maybe we can get different hairs when, like, maybe we can collect them. Oh, geez, wait, even more first. I need to give you a welcome gift. Here is a couple of things that will help you settle in. All right, so I guess that just went some... Hey friendo, did you check out the place? I love the layout and that star-shaped skylight is so pretty. There's a lot of work to do though, it's completely empty of both people, animals and food. I actually bought you some furniture to help out, but I embarrassingly didn't know which kind you'd like best, so I ended up bringing a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? Cute. Ah, oh, perfect. I have these items of that type. You should place them in the cafe when you get time. A game like this, I'm not going to be like rad, I'm going to be cute. A little bit sluggish on the, the old walkie walk, but uh, hopefully that's not to. I don't have to do that too much. It might be the perspective I'm looking at actually that makes it feel a bit weird. I like the fact that you can turn your character around um, separately to turning the the screen around, because then I can turn around and have a look at her, and I can make nice thumbnails, and we can. Go, I'd better be able to pet you. Are you Calico? You look like Tilly. Just Alinity style throw the cat back down there. <laughs> uh, you you have to when you put a cat down, you have to bend down and put all four of their feet on the ground or they don't feel safe. You can't just throw them. <laughs> Gee. Alright, so it looks like they've got some food and water. It's very, very bare in here. That's that's very right. Let's have a look what this has to say for itself then. Can I read that book? No. Put furniture in the cafe. Well, I mean, seems as that's what it's asking us to do, I, I guess. No, that looks like a little doormat. Put that there. I'm assuming. Rotate left, rotate right. Uh, I'm not really getting this one then. Uh, inventory is... Okay, so my cute furniture set. Let's see if we can put any of these down then. So we've got chairs, I've got a cute sofa. Let's see if I can put the cute sofa down somewhere. Maybe just over here by the... I mean, probably by the serving hatch is not the place to put it. Maybe by the, by the stairs in, in the corner. Um, yeah, probably by the stairs here would be the safest, actually. So, how do I rotate? I rotate with my left bumper. Okay. 
There we go. So that's my first piece of furniture put down. Ah, yes. Yeah, so this is just like a, a placer. I was like, is that like a little doormat or something? But it's it seems to be just showing me where I would place something. So I do need to then just go into my into my uh, inventory. So you're going basically into a furniture placement mode with Y, and then you're going into inventory. So that's fine. I am completely um, playing this without having played it before, so this is completely new to me. So. It's just going to take me a second to get used to some of the mechanics, I guess. Okay, so we have put down a cute sofa. Um, we're going to put down a couple of cute tables now. I think probably one sort of just away from the door there. About there, probably. Um, and then we need to put some chairs around it. Mm, might not fit two tables in there if I do that. Maybe I could put it like more by the window. Yeah, so that, that's a moving around thing. That's quite nice. Them both kind of by the window. Oh, now I've got rid of it. Ah! <laughs> I'm so clever, aren't I? Let's get it back. Pop it there. Right, okay. So let's now go to... Inventory again. Cute set. Get my chairs and then I'll rotate them around. Oh I do I'm enjoying this actually. You can be quite um specific about where you put things as well, which I quite enjoy. So it's just gonna take me a second to kind of get used to it. But yeah, I'm enjoying that a lot. You, it's not like you've got to put the chair right there and then it, it doesn't look like very nice at all. And hopefully people will interact with the tables and chairs as well. So you've got a lovely sofa, tables and chairs. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, and I'll put another table down about here. I might wiggle these around, but that's really easy to do with this, like, pink doormat thing. <laughs> I'm so bad, I know. Um... Oh, we got some singing going on. I like it. Jam into this. I like it. Okay, let's get back in my imagery and get the other chair, and then the other sofa can go somewhere. Probably, honestly, gonna like slightly. Move these over like a little bit more. And then move this one over a bit more just so that they're like properly by the window. About there, I think. And then just shift this in. There we are. I quite like that. I might like stick another sofa like in the corner there or something. Again, like I like the fact that you don't have to worry too much about where you put things because at the end of the day, if you put it somewhere, and I like the fact that you can just put something in a corner like that. That's so pretty. Yeah, thumbs up for the furniture designer and placer thing. That's definitely cool. Right, so we need to go and talk to Mayor Kiva again. So come out of furniture mode. Can I interact with that? Oh, I can sit down. Oh, X. Oh my goodness, look at me sitting at my little table. Oh, that's dead cute. How do I get up? Oh. All right, okay, A to get up. Jump to get up, basically. Okay, out we go. Let's have another chat to Kiva. I'm getting the hang of this now. Hmm, okay, what next? Animals. Your aunt always had a bunch of cute, cuddly animals in the cafe. Honestly, it's the best part of the whole thing. I know, they should have ferrets. <laughs> the calico cats are like, you know, just as good, honestly, because I have one of those too. <laughs> and that's why, that's one of the other reasons I was like, calico? And, and by the way, calico is not tortoiseshell and white. Tortoiseshell and white is like, Tortoiseshell is orange and black all mottled together. Tortoiseshell and white is a little bit of white. But if your cat is more than like 50% white, it is the calico. And that is what Tilly is. Okay, so anyway, just just wanted to clarify that. Hmm, okay, what's next? Animals? 
You aren't supposed to have cute uh, cuddly animals. Oh yeah, we read that. Okay. Why don't you look around and adopt an animal for the cafe? They're all over the island, and as long as they don't belong to anyone else, they're available for the cafe and your new fuzzy family. <gasps> what? We can just go around stealing animals. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> um, adopting. Yeah, yeah, adopting. I don't see any yet. Where are they all? I'll find them. Not that I mind running around here, although I would love some clothes that weren't like a, an old style pajama set. I probably should have coloured them. The running is kind of amusing, <laughs> I've got to admit. Going up the hill and stuff. Okay, so here looks like the, the end. It looks like a new zone that you can go into eventually, maybe. So I'm guessing there might be some story behind getting that cleared out. Oh, it's snowing! Just in time for Christmas. Who are you? Hello? Hello? You're a dog. Hi. Hi, you're called Ozzy. Oh, I'm going to pick you up and take you back to the place. Hold it to wiggle animal. Oh, is that the bumper? Hang on. Oh, no, that zoom. Ah. Animal command, go to the cafe. I, I told you to go to the cafe. Are you going? All right, I'll take you back myself. <laughs> That's fine by me. <laughs> the running in this is hilarious. <laughs> Love it. This is definitely making me laugh and smile, so that's always a good thing. Oh yeah, uh, this is Ozzy, okay? He's our new dog. I take it I just pick him up and put him in the cafe and, and then they're, they're mine. <laughs> What was the last thing? I can't seem to recall. Ah, oh, food, duh. Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. Can't have a cafe without cafe food and drinks. Your aunt left you a couple of recipes, but not many. I'm sure if you talk to the other villagers, they may be able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. Oh, quests, yay! But for now, why don't you head into the kitchen and try out one of those recipes? Sounds good. Oh, something else to note. This island is very much based on old magic. The way we do things is a bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy the cooking though. It's pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. Sorry, what? Oh, you'll see. Go try it out. Uh, it must be that must be a bit of a fourth wall breaking thing. Okay, so cooking. X make food. Okay, right. So cupcake, coffee, coffee beans and milk, and a macaroon that looks like a tiny cat. Oh, <laughs> I don't know whether it's macaroon or macaron. I say macaroon, you say macaron, maybe. I've heard both said. But they're essentially a fancy meringue. It's like the meringue version of a custard cream. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can make a cupcake. Put the ingredients. Oh my goodness, I'm tiny! What? What is this about? This is so trippy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, I hope I'm not hurting your ears. Where am I gonna put this in a mixing bowl? I imagine I put it in the mixing bowl. Like that. <laughs> I need to go find my flower again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, butter. Now you gotta like throw it in the bowl. Okay, wee. Okay, I see that worked. Okay, All right. My flower kind of went everywhere. Um, I didn't realize it would that I, that that would be how I threw it. Okay, so so we're not doing very well with the flower so far. Pick that up. Okay, let's just go back a little bit. Okay, let's aim fire. Okay, so there we have the flower. 
<laughs> I have no idea if this is right. Um, egg. Yep, it went in. I mean... Well, it's saying one out of one on, on all the things except sugar now, so I'll throw the sugar in and we'll see if we get a magical tasty treat. This is definitely the... I have played a lot of games with a lot of cooking in them. I have never played a game where you become a tiny person with giant ingredients. This is definitely unique and very fun, actually. Well, unique in my experience, I don't know. There might be some other game out there where you're a tiny person cooking giant food. So put the finished food in the tray, which so that's the sink. Oh, tray's over there. Okay. Careful when you're running over the oven. <laughs> All right, probably want to hang back a little bit. Um, and then we throw. Yay! I <laughs> got made a cupcake. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk to the mayor. Oh my goodness, that was so funny. <laughs> Wee! Ah, nah, 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 nah. Hello. Uh, I'm having a whale of a time with this. <laughs> Like, I started off a little shaky, but now now I'm getting into it. Ah, I'm so proud of you. You're a natural. I guess that's all, all that's left is meeting some of your neighbours. You should go around and meet them. Okay. Unfortunately, we've had some problems travelling to and from the other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot springs for months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea of how to fix some of the blockades. Ah, oh, we found one already, remember? Um, anyway, I hope you get the cafe back up and running. If you ever want to chat with me about it, I live down this road right here. Past the town centre. See you, friendo. Okay. Right, okay, um, there is a map. Okay. I can't really move the map pin. I can just see things on the map. It looks like if I go down the road across the river and carry on around, that looks to me like a bit of a town centre with lots of, like, question marks. Um, there looks to be a lighthouse down to the south, uh, but it looks like I may have to build a bridge or something to get there. And then it looks like if I then turn right at the crossroads, there's somebody else down there. Okay, well, I think probably the best thing we can do is cross the bridge and just carry on along the road there and go and meet all the people in the town. And we'll talk to them about the mountain path. That is exactly how I run in real life. Not that I can run for that long, but yeah, that's exactly how I run <laughs> in real life. Oh, there's a person. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. You have like really pretty hair too. Where where were all these hairstyles when I was creating my character? Look look, it's all shiny and two tone and pretty, and like mine's all like flat. Better hairstyles for me. Hello there. My name's Maya, vice president of the Owl Club. At your service. Oh, but I'm sorry. I'm the vice president of nothing right now. There was a landslide that blocked the path into the mountains. If we can't go to the mountains, that means we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters. And if we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the president of the Owl Club and she's the president of my heart. Oh, so cute. I'm in a real pickle of beans right now is what I'm saying. Pickle of beans? I know what a pickle of beans means. Is this about the mountain blockage? I don't know if Kiva mentioned this to you, but there's a landslide at the entrance of the Snowbell Mountains. It's such a bummer. Can I help? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I have no idea how you can help, but if you can find a way through, I promise you can be a prestigious member of our Owl Club. I even asked everyone in town to help, but no one could except for Autumn. I haven't asked her yet. She lives in the bottle on top of the hill next to your cafe. It's really high up and I'm scared of heights. I know that seems weird for an owl-based magical girl, but I can't actually fly. <laughs> I love you already. Oh, the characters are so cute. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to drink my tea before it goes cold, as usual. You will realise if you if you um 
I've been on this channel for any length of time. But that's the thing I do a lot. Make myself a nice hot cup of tea. Sit down for a little recording session. That's what I like to do. And, and, and it feels really cozy. And I'm just like sat there like, got my tea, got my game. But then of course I start talking and not drinking. And then it goes cold. Hi, who are you? Maribel. Oh my gosh. Are you the new cat cafe owner? I've been so excited to meet you. This is the best day ever. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever been like new to a town or new to a workplace or something and someone's come up to me and gone oh my goodness best day ever i'd feel so good it would feel amazing if that was like my greeting to someone new my name's maribel and i own the fashion store in town you should come by and see my clothes you look amazing in them you already look amazing i love your outfit i don't <laughs> But you can always have more. I probably should have tried to recolor my clothes. Now I'm going to have to buy some more really fast. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, I want your clothes. Props, props, props. I think this is the first, and I, I'm, I'm assuming that this is what it is, but, but this is the first time I have ever seen someone put cellulite onto a character in a video game especially one that's like not realistic like maybe there might have been in, in a, a more realistic um, looking game but that kind of somehow made me feel a bit validated then because I have a little bit of that on some of on the, my outer thighs how like I've been thinner and fatter and it's always there it doesn't matter it's just some people have it and it's genetic. It's just the way the fat lays down. And men don't get it because their fat lays down in a completely different way to women. There you go. Oh my, what do we have here? A new customer. Or should I say a new neighbour? You're the one that took over the old cat cafe, aren't you? I always admire the industrious spirit. I'm sure we'll get along famously. Please have a look around my store. You'll need to furnish that cafe if you want customers. So Estelle is for furniture, and then Maribel. Oh, she looks so cute today. I'm glad you asked because I do need something from you. Ah, oh, she I've so talked to them twice. You see, I've been chatting with Safina over in QT City about some new marketing strategies for my clothing shop. Have you met Safina? She's brilliant. She knows everyone, and she always knows the latest trends in fashion too. Anyway, she suggested that I do a photo shop, a uh, shoot even, photo shop. That's what I use to make thumbnails. Wearing some of the clothes I sell for an article her friend is writing. The article's about 21 fashionable businessmen of the 21st century. I think that was it. The point is, I need photos. Your shop has been looking so adorable that I thought it would be the perfect backdrop. You don't mind, do you? I can come really early in the morning, so I won't get in the way any of your customers' way. Sure, sounds fun. That's great. I've got some new cloud pattern dresses coming in, so as soon as they're here, I'll pop over to take the photos. Oh gosh, and what would be really great is if you could find a cloud theme prop or two that I could use in the photos. I can cover the costs and give you something extra for your help. Okay, you're the best. This is going to blow Safina's mind. Right, so. Put a piece of cloud furniture in the cafe. And it'll allow me to sort of, um, okay, cool. Animals, Aussie! In the cafe. Oh, and in my party. That's interesting. The townsfolk I found so far. Kiva, Maya, Maribel, and Estelle. And there's quite a few others. There's two in the Snowbell Mountains. There's another four, five in town, six in town. So far, I have only found women. Clover Coast, Golden Grove, Witching Woods. And a mystery area. Woo. Okay, let's see who else we can find. It doesn't look like there's masses of people. There's just just enough. That's a nice amount. I don't like games where there's so many people that it's hard to talk to them all. I think the amount there was in Porsche was just about right. Now then. Are there any... Uh, maybe a... a is it, is it all women again? Is there, a, is there any men? Aha! There's a man! Yay! <laughs> a 
Actually, I'm going to talk to you first. Find out who you are. Oh my goodness, I love your beard so much. Poppy? Well, now look who it is. It's been so long since I've seen you. Why, you've grown up from a sprout to a sunflower. We never met before, have we? Oh, thank goodness, I thought I had just forgotten. The name's Poppy. I run the flower shop along with my daughter, Lily. You can never have too many flowers. Okay. Let's have a little look. The characters. No, well, that's my character. Oh, so I can customise that at any point. Oh, let's just change my shorts colour a little bit. Let's make them maybe like a denim shorts or something. That looks slightly better than what I was wearing. I'd love to get some, some nicer clothes, so. Okay, but I wanted to actually look at um, in the quest log, townsfolk. Let's have a look at Poppy's entry there. He's the funnest beard in the world. I love it. I love his little jumper as well. He looks like, I don't know, a little sailor's jumper or something. He looks like he's about to go out on a fishing boat or something in, in, those, uh, in those clothes. Okay, hello. You look like a little witch. A little witch's hat. You there, you look like a person that appreciates a good flower, and we appreciate people that appreciate good flowers, because good flowers is what we've got. Uh, I don't get to practice my sales pitch to new people very often, but you get the idea. I'm Lily. I help my pops run the flower store. Okay, so, how many peeps do we know now? Like, four more to find. And then we've got to find other areas. Okay, so let's have a little look at the map and see where we are. Okay. It looks like I need to just keep going around in a kind of circle around here. There's a cat there. Hello. Hello, you. Ah! <laughs> I jumped instead of picked up. Hello. What's your name? Chompy. Oh. Well, Chompy, I would like to command you to go to the cafe. I don't know if you're going to do it, but I've got other things to do than take you back to the cafe. So, Cafe, Chompy and Aussie. So I can only have 10 animals at the cafe. Yeah, I'll probably, look, once I've met everybody and, and just had got my bearings a little bit, we'll probably go, um, we've got 500 B coins, or whatever, whatever those coins are that we've got. Anybody in here? Oh, hi, who are you? Oh, you have gorgeous hair. Why does everyone have better hair than me? Um, hello, you must be the new cafe owner. Kiva offered to let me take care of the cafe, but it turns out our cat, oh sorry, cats are very different from flowers. They both require a lot of love, but cats don't like getting watered. Oh, my name's Blossom, by the way. It's nice to meet you. If you ever want to plant your roots and soak up some sun, you can visit the garden Sunny and I share on the hill. Okay. I'm going to chat to you again. I didn't chat to Poppy and uh, Lily twice, though. Good evening, Starshine. Need anything? Hi there, I'm sorry. I didn't properly welcome you to the neighbourhood before. It's my little tradition around here to give a gift out of my garden to any newcomers. Say, are you experienced with flowers? Um, no, I've not spent much time with them. That just means you get to experience it all for the first time. I'm super jealous. Here, this is for you. Please put it in your cafe. I hope it brightens up your life. Take care now and come back to visit any time. So imagine you can decorate with flowers. So... We need to find Autumn as well. So we found Blossom. Someone else over here. Imagine that's the person she mentioned that they could share their their garden together up here. Hello, Sunny. Yes, that was the name. Hi, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I are so excited about the cat cafe reopening. It's where we first met. I thought about running the cafe myself, but that would have spoiled the magic for me. Besides, I'd rather run the boardwalk arcade. You think if I get the high score on every machine, I legally own the place? <laughs> so can we go in here? Or? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. So there's an arcade somewhere. So now if I go on the map, is it 
Okay, there's still a couple of places that look like they're question marks, a couple of people. Whereas all the other people, you can sort of see where they are. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, there's still a couple of people that we haven't found though. So I'm gonna sort of head off in this direction. I think that's where the direction they were in. Around here somewhere maybe? The lighthouse down there, but that wasn't where I think I wanted to go. Oh no, it's totally on the other side. It went completely the wrong way. I guess you've got to run some more then. yeah I'm just gonna chat to people as I go past them I'm just gonna get to know everybody first and then if I remember to double talk to them then that's fine if not that's also fine all right so I was around here I talked to these two ah look up here there's someone ah hello 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 who are you Ash! Hey, always cool to see a fresh face around here. I'm Ash. I um, work at the general store, I guess. I'm Estelle's assistant. I don't always get her, but I've learned more magic from her than I ever did in magic school, so this job isn't the worst. Alright, so there's definitely someone else around here that I did not find. I think, anyway. Yeah, we've got one more person to find here, and then we need to go up and find Autumn on the hill, and then I think it's that's everybody found. Um, so yeah, the fir first episode is going to be mostly... Oh, there's another blockade there, look. Into a new area, I'm guessing. Oh, wow. It's like a, a whole, like, dockside area with a Ferris wheel and everything. I want to go down there, clearly. Is there somebody else, like, on top of the hill, maybe? Oh, who are you? Have I, have I seen you already? I don't think I have. Oh, that's the mayor's house, I think. Yeah, hello. Oh my goodness, her tights are so sparkly and cool. Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Need anything? We should really get the path to the mountains open up so everyone in town can visit their friends there. I'll try and do that before the end of the episode or at least talk to, at least find Autumn and talk to Autumn. By the end of the episode. So, there's still someone else to find. Yeah. Oh God. Who have I not found? So run up the hill. Oh, I love the running up the hill animation. It's so funny. Hello. What's your name? You look very much like Tilly. Because you're all fluffy and long-haired. Pudgems. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how fluffy Pudgems is. <laughs> I want you in my cafe so much. Go to the cafe. Go. Okay. Like a cat will ever listen to what you actually say. So they seem to be like over in this direction. I am struggling to find my directions and stuff. But they look like they're up here somewhere. So we've got Sunny and Blossom. But it looks like there's someone else around up here somewhere. That I'm maybe missing. That's Sunny's house. That's Blossom's house. And then we want to sort of head towards the mountains. Which is this direction. So hang on, if I head towards, yeah, towards Blossom, okay. The cat up on the roof there. That was the owl place. I think I've gone too far now, see? Uh, 
I'm sure they're around this way. <laughs> oh my goodness me. This is difficult to find them. So we talked to Ash already. I am very confused as to who this other person is. I'm spending way too long on it as well, but it's irritating me that I can't find them. See, according to the map, I'm running straight through them, I swear. Let's run around the hill. See if I see anybody doing that. Who's this down here? That doesn't look like someone I've already talked to. Hi. Oh no, that was... That's poppy. Right, well I'm going to give up on finding that last person for now. Because I'm sure what will probably happen is we'll bump into them later. I'm almost certain of that. So I think what we want to do now is to head up... Um, back down the road. I can find the road again. Head back down the road and then we'll go up and find Autumn. There's definitely only two people here. So I think it's just this way, if I'm, if I'm right. Um, yeah. And then along here? No, other way. I'll do a bit of cross country. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to go and find Autumn. That looks like a hill to me. Maybe, maybe this is Autumn's hill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good shortcut. Good shortcut. Well done, Sheila. I wonder if that raven or or crow or whatever it is. Um, I, I think ravens are black beaks. Rooks are definitely orange beaks. Yeah, I've got a raven going to the, the cafe. Wonderful. Let's go and see if we can find uh, Autumn. I'm not going to worry about the one person in town I can't find because I'm certain that throughout the, the game I will probably bump into them. I need to find some cloud furniture as well so that I can do the photo shoot. I don't know how long I've got to do that. Whether it will just happen once I get a piece of cloud furniture, the photo shoot will just happen. But yeah, let's uh, let's just do this one first. It's just one quest at a time. Wow, Autumn, you live in like a, a glass globe thing? You like basically live in a snow globe. Can I go in your house? Oh. You can walk through people's doors. Right, well that might be where I'm going wrong. Autumn. She has a calico face, that is amazing. Uh, greetings, traveller, and welcome to my palatial emporium of potent, potable, portable, pourable potions. I don't trip over that, but I trip over my words with everything else, really. I'm Portum. Autumn. I'm, I'm Autumn. Ah, sorry, I don't have any points available right now. Oh, sorry, potions available right now. My cat Char is missing and I have no idea where she is and the warrior's gotten me totally behind on making potions. Lost cat? Wow, that would be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the centre of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at the clothing store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier, but it's probably a good place to start. Alright, so we've got to find Autumn's cat Char. Char. That means we'll go back to town. There are cheeky wee way out and get back to town. Town is over there. Now we find out if there's full damage in the game. Nope. <laughs> I will abuse that so much. You have no idea. 
So let's go and have a check around. Probably while I'm finding Char, I will find like all the other people. The other person that I need to find. Actually, let's just check. Is there like, have we found all of the townsfolk? Oh, and it's like whether they like sweet and savory things. Ah, look. See, we have actually found all of the people. I imagine the char might be the last question mark. Possibly, I don't know. I'll have to see. I'm gonna head back up this way. I think the clothing shop is over here. Oh no, that's my cat cafe. Ah, wrong way. This way to town then. Definitely need a mount. So if I can ride a cat, then that's amazing. And if they're f especially if they're fast, maybe the raven could like fly me places. But here we are, back to the clothes shop, and let's go and have a look. I want to have a look in here actually. Can I go in here? Oh no. So I, I just have to run at the doors, and if I'm allowed in, then I can go through, and if not, then not. Um. Okay. So let's have a look. Oh, look at the cute stuff. I can have a tail. A long sleeve crop, crop top. A skirt. Oh, I wish. But anyway, I need to find cloud furniture. Let's have a chat and see if you... Have you seen... Have you seen a cat? What's for sale? Ah. They said apparently it's a good place to start. I haven't found Char already, have I? No. Let's pop in the furniture shop and uh, have a little look and see if I can find any cloud furniture. So, bagel. Oh, hang on. These are all recipes. Cloud coffee table. There we are. Let's buy that. I think I bought it. Yeah. I think I bought two. <laughs> that was a, there was not much feedback on buying that. And so I need to remember that that's not, uh, to, just to, to come out and check that. Right, so, um, no sign of char yet. I did see a cat up here. So I wonder if I can jump from behind. Uh, might be able to just get around up here and then jump behind that I see if that that black cat up there is char I mean if I were gonna name a black cat I might name it char so are you char <coughs> yes you are all right we're, we're going back to autumn you naughty naughty cat I like that you can see oh she it's a potion bottle that's what it is See, see a bit better from a distance. I'm like, it's a snow globe, or is it like, it's a, yeah, she lives in a giant potion bottle. And I quite enjoy that idea, actually. So yeah, I'm actually starting to find my way around. It's only been a, you know, sort of, just under an hour I've been playing and uh, finding my way around okay. There's no fall damage, so we've already checked that out. I'll be probably getting some nice clothes and stuff to make a bit of money. Put down the cloud coffee table. Alright, so hopefully... I wonder if she'll give me any money for bringing back Char. She might do. It takes blinking ages to run up here with a cat. I have Char. <laughs> Greetings, Traveller. Is this Char? I can't believe you found my Char so quickly. How can I ever repay you? Help with the landslide? Hmm, that's a hard one. It would be great to be able to go back to the mountains since one of my biggest customers is there. Lumi, up at the Snowbell Hot Springs, always commissions potions from me for her herbal baths. I don't really make potions that blow up rocks, though. Let me think about this a bit. 
I got it. Come back tomorrow. I should have something ready for you. So I need to go back to the cafe and go to sleep. And, um... Which way is the cafe? Which way do I need to jump off this giant hill? I do need to jump off it here, actually. I see, yeah, we go up here and then we turn to the left. And then we're back at the cat cafe. Okay, I'm starting to learn my way around this little town here. There we are, it's my cat cafe. Right, so probably I would say that going to sleep would be a good point to end the episode. So the next episode is going to be me uh, blowing up the mountain path and getting that all open. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go back here. Here's all the animals I found on my way. <laughs> it's getting rather full. But there's a couple of cloud coffee tables that would probably look nice in the middle here. So let's pop those down before the end of the episode. So inventory, cloud, I kind of think I might want them the other way around as well. Do we want them more like in the middle? Yeah, can put, them, put them kind of in the middle there, so that'll be fine. And I've got a couple of flowers as well, so... Oops. Oh yeah, I could put, the, put one one way and one the other way. That looks cute. Okay, so the flowers, I wonder if they could go up on the shelves or whether those shelves are exclusively for kitty walking. They look like they might be exclusively for kitty walking. However, a flower in the middle of those tables might look quite nice. Hmm. So let's go back into my inventory. Flowers. Okay, they definitely look like uh, their wall decorations. Okay. Unless I can make them go up and down, I'm not sure. So what I think would be nice is to put one there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Uh, is there anywhere else that I think would be good for one to go? Maybe over here? There was given two. It's kind of a little bit in the way of the cat, like, jumping place, but it's fine. Okay, cool. So we are going to go to sleep now. So come out of furniture mode. Um, I'm guessing I have a second story here to my house. Let's see what's up here. Do we have a, a bed or something? Oh, what a cute bedroom we got. Oh, I love this. So I could do a bit of decorating there. Oh, I want to see what they mean by the star, um, the star skylight. That's wonderful. And a little cat window. Oh, so cute. Okay, so we're going to go to sleep. Save the game. Save the cave. And we're at a new day, so I think what's going to happen now is we're going to say goodbye for today. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. Um, we're going to be having some more adventures pretty soon. Going to go and uh, get that landslide cleared. Um, we're going to maybe do the fashion photo shoot, so that'll all be next time. Probably get myself, like, once I get a bit more money and sell a few cakes or whatever it is, We'll maybe try and get some more like uh, clothes. We might even find a hairdresser who could maybe sell us some new hairstyles. You never know. Or maybe get some like, I think a little hairband or a hat might be quite cute. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.